Hello YouTube and the Tribe of the Horror Realm. We're back with yet another installment, getting near the end for Teresa's Alphabet of the Damned. We're well in December. Yeah. <laughs> it was supposed to be an October thing and now we're just in December. <laughs> you like to procrastinate, don't you? We love it so much you had to extend it. <laughs> She's a great procrastinator. She didn't even get a birthmark until she was seven years old. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, uh, we're up to the letter X, and honey, what did you choose? X, the man with X-ray eyes. <laughs> and, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry for the distractions. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a good movie. Um, it, it, it was very good. Um, of course it is. <laughs> All your movies are flat out with It's a Good Movie. That's like once upon a time. It basically, basically, it's about a man who wants to see more than just what he sees. He wants to see the universe. And he uses, um, he invents a liquid you can put in your eyes that will make you see more than just what you see. And it kind of plays with you psychologically. There's things that you shouldn't see. There's things you don't need to see. Yeah, like Rosie O'Donnell <laughs> wearing leather and ex exit to Eden. <laughs> you know? Or Oprah Winfrey grooming herself or something else. Those are things you don't want to have to see. And it's a story about greed. Seeing, to see more and more and more. And this guy couldn't just, couldn't just stop at one dose, but he had to take another, and another, so he could see more and more and more, until it just, like, ruined him. So seeing more is not always better, and he thought he'd be doing the world, the world good, if he could see more, but actually it destroyed him instead. And there's the story about greed, and... You know, and people who sometimes know about your your ability or whatever kind of latch on to you now you know, sometimes and like use you to make them money or make them famous and sometimes. And that plays a little bit into this. But it also plays with your mind psychologically just to think that you you don't want to see everything. She also wants to talk to you and say, I don't want to see the said that. <laughs> I was trying to get a point across. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, if, if you like things like this that plays with your mind, it's a good movie to watch. Um, okay, I, I don't know. Not exactly. I don't think it's a brain twister. Movie no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> um, I just always found it to be a great popcorn flick. I mean, I told you, I saw this back in the day on Creature Feature, and um, I just really loved the film. And it did, it did kind of freak me out initially seeing it back with him when his eyes start to change, because mm -hmm. um, you know I wasn't even aware of scala lenses back then. When I was um, Ray Milland, who had a very storied career, ended up doing a few um, B-rated uh, films with um, stuff like this one, X-Men with X-ray eyes, as well as um, thing with two heads with Rosie Greer. Um, this is also this was done on a micro budget, uh, three hundred thousand dollars, I believe. Also has a cameo by a young Dick Miller who is a um, legend in the horror genre. Um, you can find uh, this is an MGM Midnight Movie. Uh, depending where you go, I mean they're technically they're out of print, but they always seem to just pop up somewhere here and there. I know Big Lots has had them in the past and then out of print again. Um, I believe a lot of the double features have been showing up with Big Lots recently. So these the single features, and this is one that was only a single feature. Um,
could be a little tougher to find. Did you already do that? No, I didn't. Oh. I'm just saying the midnight movies tend to show up there occasionally. Mm. I've had this for a number of years. I see. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think it's more of a but again, American International Pictures, Samuel J. Z. Arkoff. Um, I love this one. Zebra. <laughs> Uh, Z for zebra. Yeah. Roger Corman, you know, it's a good film if you get to watch with uh, when you have a bunch of. <laughs> Where are you? I like those other pockets. <laughs> cold? Yeah. It's like 68 degrees in here. Are you cold? Freezing. You know, Kurt Russell in the thing. Yeah, he was hand. cold. That ice cold. Yeah, that's that cold. <laughs> Alright, anyhow, I we digress. Um, Alright, I have no idea what I was just talking about because. We were talking about Midnight Movies and Big Lots. Nanook of the North here has decided to. We were talking about Midnight Movies and Big Lots. Alright, anyways, um, Midnight Movie, X the Man with X ray Eyes. I loved it back in the day, seeing it on Creature Feature. Now you've seen it, and where does the blanket need to say? <laughs> Stays right where it is. Not frightening, but apparently, um, if, I'm, if I am correct, it's it's a good movie. It's about greed, and it plays with the night. It's a little scary toward the end. <laughs> I know you love me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're almost at the end. Two more to go. Bye.